with you. Well, I just wanted to summarize something that has been bugging me. It's about consoles versus PC and who's better. Well, let's just say I prefer nah, both are filled with pros and cons. I don't think I should just say I prefer something without a context to back it up. Well, if you were to ask me to select them like how the American election would be, well, I'll just say I'll pick PC easily. It's not about that consoles are bad or anything, but I just wish that they are much more of a classic definition of what a console should be. You know, just other than being a built-in PC disguised as a console. I'm just going to blame one thing on why the consoles are losing to PC today. And when I mean consoles, I mean those main ones, you know, the PS4 and Xbox One. Nintendo, well, they have their own special thing going on for them. It's simple. It's cause of technology and how it switched to PC's favor. Back in the old days, gaming on a PC is basically either text-based or just simple pixels. Console was hella nicer looking back in those days. That's why we have retro gamers as a fan base. PC back then was actually for office work and for other use. And gaming was sort of a secondary matter. However, things changed greatly when it graphics cards were created. PC could then could output 3D graphics and then eventually grew as much as how consoles grew too. Considering the spec of consoles nowadays, well, they are just not able to age very well. PC could age very well, but because of how they are upgradable, even on the early days, you know, yeah, that is why you could actually switch out graphics cards and store stuff to prolong the life of an old processor. While the consoles, well, you gotta buy the whole new system for uh, to play the next generation of games, they say. Yeah, basically, like, that's what's going on for the consoles for like pretty long until today. Yeah, it's still the same for PS4. And they, they even have rehashes of the same generation, you know, like the slim model is always going to be a slim model. You know, and then maybe some improvements that they think was a big deal while it's actually just something really gimmicky or just uh, fake upscaling or sorts. But then, yeah, that's how consoles were doing so far. However, PC, well, they actually get some uh, pretty good games on the long run despite you know consoles still dominating at that point because yeah multi-platforms there's a lot of multi-platform games that actually reach pc with better ports yeah you know except for some certain ones that are pretty bad at start but then after fixing they is actually much better than a console counterpart yeah you know batman games yeah yeah not to mention pc is capable of emulation that is basically, you know, playing all the retro games on a PC, like, all in one. My, my God, that that's actually something pretty good for people who actually keep or store their games that still wanted to play them, but then maybe their consoles were act uh, actually broken or lost in the time. Yeah, they actually play it on the PC. Yeah, that's actually a good point. Consoles, on the other hand, they usually just sell their old games again and again with every console generation, which is pretty weird because, yeah, I mean, if you own the game, why you want to purchase again unless they do a remaster or something? But even a remaster sometimes is just pretty darn lazy at some point. PC might not have the good feel of physical media, you know, like physical owning of a game, but then, yeah, this, this still 
are pretty good considering the fact that they're switching to digital now especially with you know steam and gog yeah games are actually pretty cheap on the pc compared to how the consoles were always you know forty dollars and above unless maybe discounted or other than that yeah you you're gonna pay more than the discounted price on pc most of the time uh, PC is much more cost effective because you can upgrade the GPU and maybe keep some parts and then you know you can even extend their lifespan even to 8 years or 10 years or even more if you know how to choose a nice, uh, very good processor or something and then maybe just upgrade the RAM or the graphics card yeah Maybe you can blame NVIDIA and AMD because they're the sole reason for why consoles were lagging behind PCs. Yeah, you, you look at all the GTX 10, 10 series, you know. Oh my god, look at how good they could run 4K and even uh, basically almost everything. Yeah, and then on to mention they're going to innovate even more in the future. I don't know, man. But then consoles, yeah, they actually had to rely on these two companies in order to create them uh, graphic chips. Yeah, not like back in the day when there's cell architecture. Yeah, you know, those those exclusive systems for consoles only. Nowadays, it's just like, uh, nah, they're just going to use graphic cards similar to PC, but maybe cheaper because, yeah, cost problems. You know, I just wish consoles were a bit more you know innovative you know at least nintendo does something different from the you know the latest console generation by not catching up but instead trying to go out of their way to experiment with new methods of playing games and they succeeded at least in some point with their handheld device and not even to mention the nintendo switch well it's not exactly the superb revolution that everybody thought it would be but then yeah it's still something that triple a consoles actually haven't done yet but then yeah let's just see what will happen to nintendo and then we'll maybe talk about it in the future but for now you know it's not really wise to invest in a console i guess for now i'm just saying for now because i think Consoles still had the potential to, you know, outrun the PC in terms of the gaming subculture. But then, however, sadly, most of the time, you you had to admit that PC is actually much more reliable in every way. Of course, there are game exclusives, you know, like for the PS4 and the Xbox One. However, the amount is just so small that I don't really wanna buy a system just to play one game and that's all I mean yeah really there's no any game that actually can just l last for you to play forever on just one game on a single console no I don't think that that's possible they may need a lot of uh, good catalogs of games you know because the PC wow I mean the, the, the exclusives were actually growing time by time because of indie games and stuff that are actually exclusive like RTS and maybe some Civ games yeah those stuff would only going to work on something that have plenty of control buttons like the keyboard and the mouse yeah basically that I guess technology is just somehow uh, favor the PC much more than consoles that's the reality and then we had to accept it all right you know just like the election results just don't bitch over it all right it's just a it's just a console right it's just a system of for uh, everybody to play games on you you don't have to like um bias towards it or something just because you own one or you you like it and you love it then the other system you know they are all just gaming systems, alright? Yeah, let's just be peaceful.
not not becoming cancerous um, fanboys, you know. All right, I guess that's all I had to say. Well, basically, yeah, I guess that's it. I didn't laugh anything out, and I'm not a professional expert on this matter, but well, I'm just a gamer, you know, your your good old gamer since the Game Boy days, SNES, and yeah. I guess this is what I talk since after being looking at game uh, games evolve from consoles to systems the PC you know yeah all those sort of stuff and good luck and maybe leave a like or subs if you like I might consider to make more videos when I had more ideas I guess goodbye